Hi, I'm Ter, and I make video diaries about my journey learning about sumo. One day, I was asked who I'm rooting for the most in this grand tournament, and honestly, I couldn't give them a proper answer. In the series, I'm getting to know the active wrestlers in sumo, in hopes of finding my favorite rikishi. Welcome to Wrestler Spotlight. Today's episode, we are getting to know Ura Kazuki and his acrobatic fighting style. Almost every sumo fan raved about Ura re-entering the prestigious top division of sumo after almost three and a half years being taken out due to a knee injury. He first made it into the top division back in 2017 and made waves after choosing a bright pink mawashi that some sumo elders weren't very happy about. It wasn't only his eccentric choice of colors that made him stand out, but his acrobatic performances inside the ring. I can only describe his sumo as unexpected yet exciting. You just cannot predict what Ura will do in a bout, but you can definitely expect his fights to be animated, and that's because he does a lot of improvisation inside the ring to respond to his opponent's moves. He's also known for using rare winning techniques. In the November 2020 Grand Tournament, he performed not just one, but two rare winning moves, namely Izori or backwards body drop against Kyokushuho and Ushiro Motare or backward lean out against Azumaru. The backwards body drop move hasn't been seen at Sakitori since 1993. But out of the ring, Ura just exudes a likable character. It's difficult not to feel giddy with him when I watch the video of Ura receiving his bright cherry blossom pink mawashi for the first time. And I also felt for him when he was about to face Hakuho and Haruma Fuji in 2017. The childlike honesty is so refreshing to see in athletes competing in such a vicious sport. As I watch more of Ura, I'm coming to understand why he's such a favorite among fans. He is talented, relatable, and very, very entertaining to watch in and out of the ring. But with knee injuries that took him out of tournaments, all I can do as a fan is to cross my fingers and hope for the best. Now that he's back in the Makuuchi division, can Ura deliver consistent performances and avoid injuries to stay in top division? I guess we will have to see. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of Wrestler Spotlight. I hope you guys liked it. What do you think of me getting to know active wrestlers in sumo? Please share, like, and comment what you think about it. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye!